guys, welcome back for another Halloween tutorial. This one I'm starting off with some green body paint on a flat square brush. This one is pretty wide and I'm using it to paint two stripes down the outsides of my neck. And as you can see, as I come down toward the center of my neck, I'm curving it down so it creates sort of a point. Then once those are pretty much even, I'm going down from the bottom of my chin and taking another stripe all the way down to meet those two points that we just made. I'm just roughly connecting everything there and then switching to a smaller brush to bring a point down the center. Then I'm taking a chartreuse screen and applying that to those blank areas between the stripes. Using that same product on a fluffy face brush, I'm just gently stippling that down the center of each of those stripes to add a bit of a highlight. Using this brush does give it a little bit more texture, but I am going in and cleaning off my brush and kind of blending it out just to smooth it out a little bit. Now I'm going in with a medium brown body paint and I am just outlining the bottom of that neck piece. I'm using a small flat brush for this and then I'm going to down from that bottom point create a couple of little swirly vines and for those I switched to a smaller detail brush. I first painted out the vine shape as a base and then I went in with that same detail brush to modify it. Then if I need to clean up any of my lines I'm taking a q-tip and rubbing it inside of a baby wipe so that it gets wet and then I'm just gently rubbing that along the edges where I want to correct my lines. You could use water for that as well. So there's what the vines look like after they were all done. Continuing with the brown, I'm lining up and around those bright green stripes and I'm not taking it up all the way, I'm letting it veer off a little bit once it's about two thirds up. I'm then thickening those lines as they come down into the corners and then I'm turning my brush sideways and taking a thin line up from the corners. And again, I'm going to let this veer out a little bit once I get about halfway up. Then I'm going to thicken those lines as they come down toward the corners as well. To soften the edges of those brown lines, I'm taking the brush that I had that bright green paint on and I'm just running that right along the very edges of the brown. Then moving on to the face, I started out with the dark brown NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and I was creating some ridges for the pumpkin because originally I was just going to do a plain white jack-o'-lantern, which obviously we ended up not doing. So this part is kind of pointless, but I did still end up using the lines as guides, so it wasn't a total waste. Um, I switched to the Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil to roughly outline the triangles of the eyes and the nose. I then went in with a white cream makeup all over, but I'm gonna kind of skip over that because it's not really necessary to do before doing the wood grain. Um, obviously you can do it that way, and in the end it will save you a little bit of time with the highlighting, but you really don't need to cover your entire face in white at this point. So moving on, I'm applying an eyeshadow base to the triangles and then I'm using a brush to blend that out so I don't mess up the triangles too much. Then once everything is blended out, I'm using Black Rainbow from the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette and it's just a really pigmented black eyeshadow with some rainbow glitter. And you'll want to pick this up on a super dense brush and be sure to really press it into the skin rather than swipe. That'll really help you get the most out of the pigment and help reduce any fallout. So I'm just applying this to the basic triangle shape and then switching to a smaller brush to get to all the points. And of course, if you don't have this eyeshadow or you just don't wanna use an eyeshadow for this, you can always use a water activated paint or a cream makeup or a gel eyeliner, a pencil eyeliner even whatever you have, whatever you wanna use. You could also use an orange and a yellow if you want the look of the jack-o'-lantern being lit up from the inside. And then I'm using that black eyeshadow on the nose as well. And then to really black out around the eyes, I'm using a black eyeliner and lining the tight line and the lower waterline. 
and I'm also going to use a regular matte black shadow to set the lower waterline eyeliner. So after I set my white cream makeup with the translucent powder, I went in with a dark brown eyeshadow and started going over those ridges that I had drawn in earlier. At this point, if you hadn't done the ridges and the white cream makeup earlier, you could just start doing your wood grain now using a brown paint or eyeliner. Guys, there's a huge spider crawling toward me right now. It's on the squishy wall and I can't squish it. What do I do? Yo, it's huge. Okay, so I got up from my chair and it legit disappeared. It must have gone inside of the foam on the wall or it's on the carpet that's pretty much spider camouflage. So, you know, it's all good. Anyway, so I have my feet up on the chair and let's try it and get back into this and focus. At this point is when I really wasn't liking how it was looking. So you can see here that I'm adding in more and more lines because I had decided I wanted to do the wood grain. So I'm sticking with the eyeshadow for now. This one is a bit of a lighter shade than that dark brown we were using earlier, but I did switch to a smaller detail brush. So basically these lines that we're creating now are going to serve as a nice guide for when we go back in with the body paints. So once I was pretty happy with how that was looking, I went in with that brown body paint again on a small detail brush and started creating the wood grain effect. What I'm doing is making a lot, a lot, a lot of lines and you'll want these in varying thicknesses. You'll want to make some straighter, some a little bit more wavy as well as some knots. And for me, I wanted to have very, very little negative space meaning I want to have as many lines as I can fit on my face. Of course, I am keeping some blank lines because those are going to serve as our highlights later on. And if you need to, you can always pull up some reference photos of rough wood grain texture. Here I'm painting on lines, but I'm letting my brush wander a little bit back and forth rather than trying to keep it straight. So that kind of gives it a natural wavy look. And we're just going to continue on with this for the rest of the face. It is pretty time consuming, but it is also really fun to start seeing the texture come to life. And then I did decide to tie in the ears as well. So I just quickly took my brush and kind of went up and down, up and down and created different thicknesses again and some knots as well. I'm then finishing up the texturing on the face and then I'm using that same brown with the brush that I used to line under the neck piece and I'm going to just line along the bottom of my jawline. And then once I've done that, I'm going back to the small detail brush and taking several messy lines down from that line we just created. I then decided to line around all of the triangles with a brown as well, and I switched back to that slightly bigger brush for this. I'm then using a black gel liner to clean up on the inside of the lines that we just made. I decided to take that brown outline up above the brow into a point and I also am painting that little section of my brow that the triangle covers. And then I'm kind of blending the wood grain texture into those brown outlines. And I'm doing that by connecting some of my wood grain lines to those outlines. And now with some black body paint on that same detail brush, I'm going to start creating some deeper areas around the wood grain. And I don't really want to create any new lines really, rather just add on to the lines that I already have to make them look deeper and add shadows. Don't forget to add this to the ears as well. 
And here is the finished wood grain effect before adding highlights. Now I'm just quickly applying some mascara to black out my lashes and then we're going to go to then we're gonna go in with a white body paint to add in the highlights. I really wanted to do this mainly to the ears. Since I didn't have that white cream paint on earlier, they were still my natural skin tone rather than white, so they looked a little bit funny. So that's where I added the most, and then I just added a little bit around the face where I felt like it needed a little bit more pop. So I guess in the end, that base of white really did help me out, but you can decide for yourself if you want to do that or do the highlights at the end. So now we just need to do the lips, and I'm starting out with a black liquid lipstick and applying that all over the lips, and then I am bringing my Cupid's bow into a little V. Then from the corners of the mouth, I'm taking it up into a smile and then connecting it to the lower lip and the top of the Cupid's bow. And then while the lipstick is drying, I decided to add some highlights to that bright green paint on the neck using the white cream makeup and a white eyeshadow. Then the last thing we need to do is outline the lips like we did the triangles using the brown paint. And I started lining under the bottom part of the smile, making it a bit thicker under my natural lips so that when you're looking straight on, it looks like an even line and it doesn't disappear under where the curve of that lip is. And then I really wanted to define that V on the cupid's bow first and then I completed the top of the smile. And also be sure to blend your wood grain into this outline as well. And that's going to complete this wooden style jack-o-lantern. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe for more Halloween videos. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you do recreate any of these Halloween looks. I would love to see them. Be sure to check out all the information down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you tomorrow.